this is the setup. We just thought we'd put it up in the house first before we actually go camping. But it's quite big. It was easy to put up and it's large enough to put a queen size sleeping mat inside of. It was worth, worth it. All right, second tent that brand new out of the box, factory folded, they're not used, returned holes in the net. Got a flashlight down here to show you guys better, but air or light leaking through here, so pinhole in the base and the tarp material. Come around, move the flashlight to get a Give you guys a better view. And I'm moving the flashlight over to this corner to get a better light for the pinholes that are in this corner down here. These ones are a little bit harder to tell, but there's like three, four small little pinholes in this corner. So, Coleman needs to uh, step up their game as far as quality control. I've owned a lot of Coleman tents and I've never had this issue straight out of the box. You know, other than that, their tent is pretty roomy. There's two two people, four dogs, so that's why I got such a that's why I got a bigger tent. Um, so yeah, you know, if you guys can are okay with maybe this happening to you, it's a great tent otherwise. So I'll do another edit once I actually get get it out and see how it is actually camping. <laughs> 